Hello everybody, it's Wyvern here with another bit of Total War Warhammer 2 Quick Match Gameplay. This time around we are on the Sulphur River playing as the Force of the Dark Elves against the Forces of the Empire. For this build I did go with a bit of a classic Rush since that is probably my favorite build against Empire as those Dark Elves. It's always fun to just match them uh, in the Cav battle and see if you can overrun them that way. And uh, so we've got no fancy footwork here, no fancy maneuvering. Instead we're just going for a straight up Bull Rush. Whoever the build, Malekith. He is going to be rocking around on a cold one. It was too cheap to buy a dragon. And uh, honestly, w w when you want this much width, it is very difficult to squeeze a dragon in. He does have Soul Stealer as well as Word of Pain for that potential um, Enfeebling Foe, essentially, if you overcast it. Uh, Spiteful Conjuration, bit of a waste, but it can help your front line here, which is a mix of non-AP infantry. We've got Blackheart Corsairs, Sister Slaughter as an anchor, and some Bleak Swords, so not too terrible. Although probably could have taken it off and instead gotten a chill wind. And finally, we do have Gaze of Malice and Stand Your Ground. Gaze of Malice, of course, very good for disrupting Empire backlines. Their squishy range infantry tends to suffer pretty badly from it. For our Cav Corps, we've got four units of Cold One Knights. These guys are excellent at dealing with Empire Heavy Cav. They can really swarm uh, with Demigriff Knights. They'll crush Cold uh, Crush Reich's Guard Knights of Blazing Sun very efficiently unless your opponent uses some magic to offset that their uh, combat prowess and so we do have some pretty heavy hitters there and besides that we do have several dark riders dark riders shields over there two dark riders vanilla variant all the way over there and then the slanish harvesters here providing their support word of pain of course as well as soul stealer and they themselves are solid melee combatant with poison and magic damage and with their respectable 40 percent physical resist it's very difficult for empire to kill them uh, silver bullets of course can do immense damage they will put them in a very bad uh, spot very very quickly, but everything else uh, that Empire has it doesn't kill them quick. I guess Hammer of Witches or Cannons will, but um, otherwise you really need some specific magic support. Now for my opponent, he did go with Boris Toddbringer here, who's going to be diving immediately into my Black Arc Corsairs, getting some sweet sweet early damage and actually some pretty pretty good chunk of damage there, about 600 damage on that single hit. Uh, we are going to immediately counter charge with Malekith as well as Cold One Knights. But, of course, being on a flying mount, he's going to squeak away just fine. The rest of my opponent's build is a bit of a box. And um, it's doable here on Sulphur River because you do have this tower back here that you can kind of use as a defense. You've got this boat uh, or wrecked ship just laying there in the river. And that doesn't leave too much room for maneuver, especially when you've got this much infantry. So we've got some Empire Knights hiding here in the woods. A main line is composed of spears. Now, this will not hold at all against my main line, but uh, it is a good screen for the spearmen and the arch and the Ar or sorry, for the archers and the silver bullets to do damage. You can get more handguns back there. Uh, multiple units of flagellants back that up as well. These guys will trade pretty well into my lower end troops, though of course Cold One Knights can shrug them off pretty well. And then we've got Halberdiers, Chevron up to Veteran C7, which I think is a mistake, uh, making up the back line. I think it's better to invest in something else than Chevrons and Halberds, but uh, these guys are a big threat to Cold One Knights for sure, and I have to be very wary of them. So, regardless, we are going nice and slow. Uh, I did slow down my front line's advance when Boris dove in because I didn't want to be getting too far ahead of Malekith and the Cold One support. And we are slowly but surely going to make our way forward. Now, my opponent here breaking formation a little bit, trying to flex around to respond to all these flank threats. Uh, and he is popping a few shots here into the Sister Slaughter, but of course, these ladies do have 20% shields as well as physical resistance, so they will. Uh, they're not going to block a whole bunch of it, but they will get a decent amount of damage mitigation there. And of course, Boris is not going to be diving back in because, uh, yeah, he'd get wrecked by the calf. Now, over here, the Silver Bullets do get a small volley into the Slanish's Harvesters, who then plow straight on through. And of course, these guys do cause splash damage, uh, unless that was changed in any recent patch. And uh, they are going to do quite a lot of damage to Silver Bullets, forcing them to back off, of course. And my opponent is being forced to back away. Handgunners here get hit by Gaze of Malice. And that immediately drops their leadership very low. Sister of Slaughter, in the meantime, getting intercepted by Flagellants. And that is some very good play there from my opponent, uh, soaking up the Sister of uh, Slaughter with Flagellants, who will probably beat them pretty handily uh, once they're this badly whittled down, especially with the Archer support. There is a Light Wizard here who's got Net and Faust Protection, and uh, so he's going to be trying to back this line up. But Spearman buckling very, very quickly with the Cotton Candy Blasts, just demolish demolishing them and the Silver Bullets. Halberds do zone me out here, but with that physical resist, we're just able to push through, plowing on into the Silver Bullets, forcing my opponent back. The Black Arc Horse is doing an excellent job here. In the meantime, the rest of the Dark Elf army is slowly but surely working on that surround. We've got Cold One Knights diving here into the pits. Dark Riders getting intercepted, uh, but we are getting in on those Empire Knights. We're trying to flex all over the place. And Dark Riders are going to try to dive down the pipe here going after these handguns. Unfortunately, the Sisters of Slaughter are getting knocked out by the Flagellants, those naked fanatics beating up on the naked ladies here. And uh, 
making them run for dear life, and you can see one of them just toppling there into the murky muck as they take arrows to the back. Shields ain't helping there. Uh, but the Coldwell Knight's now plowing through and starting to get a bit of a surround as Soul Stealer does go down from Malekith and the um, supporting Dark Riders here. Unfortunately, of course, Boris is going to tank this pretty well, but I honestly don't have great targets for Soul Stealer here. I was really kicking myself in the rear at this point for not having brought Chillwind, but uh, what can you do? And Malekith is going to chunk Boris pretty well. Boris isn't the best of duelists. Uh, Malekith isn't either, but Malekith does have better combat stats than he does, especially on Griffin. He does have AP. And so he's going to put this guy down. Second soul, soul Stealer going down. You might be wondering where from. Well, one of them was from the Slanish Harvesters. The other one from Malekith, of course. And although the Flagellants here are going to fight off the Dark Riders with shields, it is still leaving a lot of uh, a lot of pressure pouring on through. And one of the big problems for my opponent is that while Bounce of Power looks very even at this stage of the game, a lot of that Bounce of Power is propped up by missile units. Uh, Archers, of course, are cheap, but they still do have a lot of ammo and they can do a lot of damage. You see with Silver Bullets and Handguns, but they are all now routing, or they're being slowly but surely overrun. The, the front line is buckling, it's collapsing. Uh, and as my opponent isn't able to stimmy the tide, these archers are going to get compromised, and once they're gone, Bounce of Power is going to be much more decisively, or this battle is going to be much more decisively in my favor. Now, Boris here trying to interdict the Cold One Knights, doing his very best there, but uh, not able to really stop them uh, as they overrun the archers. We can see Gaze of Malice here sweeping through uh, and knocking over some of those archers and silver bullets. And the push keeps rolling. Empire Knights here getting intercepted. We just have so much heavy cavalry able to intercept these knights. Cold One Knights, of course, just going to demolish these poor Empire uh, troops. And uh, Flagellants doing their best. The Flagellants, of course, are unbreakable. And they're going to continue providing these annoying sort of isolated islands for me to crack. Uh, including zoning away some Cold One Knights here. But... In the meantime, all the back line is compromised. Uh, Black Archers will slowly but surely chop through this line, They're getting rid of those, the White Wizard here, getting rid of the Halberds. Uh, and the Flagellants can't stop that. There is no stopping this tide. In the meantime, Malekith here is chunking Boris, who has popped all of his buffs. We can see the fight of the sentry going down here. I should say the route of the sentry, because Boris is fleeing. He's not going to stick around to fight. The uh, Cold One Knights there are getting shot to crap by the Archers, and so I'm forced to pull into them now. But uh, my opponent's Light Wizard here does actually escape. I wasn't able to intercept him or keep him down with the Cold One Knight, so he's going to be able to get away, and that's going to be a problem. If he's able to rally and provide some support, could be an issue. Uh, but we are going to pressure these archers here, do some good damage. Halber's now pouring in, and this is a threat. This is a serious threat to Malekith and the Cold One Knights especially. They can drag them down into the muck. Uh, and plus, if I start rampaging, uh, because keep in mind, these guys do still have that uh, those primal instincts. If these guys start rampaging, things will go very poorly. So it's something I wasn't really paying attention to, but it's something I should have been paying attention to and could still throw things uh, back up in my opponent's favor. Now over here, as my opponent does cast a Faust Protection, I believe, or we are going to pull back with the with Malekith. Already cast it for a little bit and uh, evade this engagement. We're just running away here with Malekith and the Dark Riders and the Cold One Knights. Regrouping here in the distance, cleaning up some Flagellants, uh, just doing our best. I left the Doomfire Warlocks in here, and I really shouldn't have. Uh, they're actually going to route... And I should have pulled them out. Uh, but unfortunately, you can see the Rampage going down here. The Cold One Knights getting um, getting uh, dra just dragged into the muck here with the Rampage. We are going to get another Gaze of Malice, the last one, into the Halberds. And it's going to do a good chunk of damage with their low armor. They just can't hold up. And uh, another Rampage going down on the Cold One Knights. It will keep them in the fight a little bit better. They do get a slight leadership and melee attack boost. But uh, they will get destroyed here. Uh, more Cold One Knights pouring in from the flanks. Malekith, of course, in there. Dropping another fat Soul Stealer. Just looking to melt this pocket, and slowly but surely we are grinding our way through. Bounce power pretty decisively in my favor at this point. The flagellants over here, just kind of the last legs of my opponent's army. A uh, handful of them over here as well, getting crushed. Some Empire Knights here in the distance looking to clean up the Black Heart Corsairs, but at this stage we've got most of the enemy troops on the ropes. Most of the Empire State troops are not going to hold at this point. As I mentioned before, a lot of that balance of power was in the ammo, and as all those missile units got removed from play, we started skewing the balance much more in our favor. You can see some troops routing back there in the distance. At this point, my opponent does decide to GG out, as all that is left is really, well, Boris and a handful of Halberds, which isn't going to win win at, against what was left. So going over the build here, uh, I think that it's a very strong build against Empire. Empire struggles against this sort of rush build, and especially if you go for this sort of boxy play. And, and Sulphur River actually kind of enables you this boxy play. Uh, it's got... As I mentioned, those towers and the boats there blocking off some access points. But ultimately, 
Empire Empire really does struggle to defend its backline sometimes. Their leadership isn't the best. Uh, if I had some sort of, sort of terror in here, if I brought like a Sorcerer's Manticore, this could be even a, even, even quicker break. Uh, the Spearmen just can't hold, and uh, once that front line is breached, things go south very quickly. I think my opponent here just invested and brought too much uh, foot missiles. And you really don't want many, if any, personally I don't recommend any foot missiles against the Dark Elves. Because uh, they can do this to you and similar strats, where they will just swarm you from all sides. You've got Cold One Knights who are so cost effective against Empire Heavy Calf. You've got the Slanish's Harvesters who are difficult to root out of your back line, and who are just so very difficult to stop with anything and dark riders just a dirt, dirt cheap interdiction unit there and um then you got black heart corsairs and bleak swords and sisters and yeah you can focus on these guys down but they once your front lines breach they're too fast for you just to, uh, to escape and uh, it's one of those things i think a lot of people don't think think about but you if against for example a faction like greenskins if all they brought is a bunch of orc boys you can outrun them and kite them with your skirmishers you can do that against dwarves you can do that against uh, empire or bretonia or um Factions like that with slower infantry against undead. All the undead factions have very slow infantry that you can kite. You can't do that against elves. Dark elves, wood elves, high elves, their infantry is all too fast for you, and they will catch you. Catch you, uh, Except maybe like the elites. I think Blackguard might be too slow, but like, and maybe executioners, but you're never going to see this in the matchup. So something to keep in mind. Uh, that's my main critique on my opponent's build is just that I think it's going too heavy into foot missiles and, I think you, and infantry, and I think you'd be better off just going more cav heavy. Regardless, well played to Bird here. It was still a rather close game. There wasn't too much left in my army. Malekith really just held things together because he's just indestructible. Um, but really well played there. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. As usual, leave your thoughts, opinions, comments, and critiques down below. I will do my best to respond as soon as I can. Do thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one. Why we're now.